Hello friends, this is Physics Boy and on request of one of my follower, I am posting a video on inelastic collision in one dimension. In inelastic collision, there is loss in kinetic energy after the collision. So the first idea about inelastic collision we must have is that there is loss in kinetic energy. Basic properties of an inelastic collision that we must keep in mind while doing the derivation. The first is linear momentum is conserved. Second again total energy is conserved as same as elastic collision. Now the important one. Yes, the kinetic energy is not conserved. Keep in mind that after the collision the final velocity is almost less in most cases but the more the important thing is the kinetic energy is not conserved and that is totally related to the velocity final velocity and the fourth one some forces acting may not be conservative now let's get to the actual case where we see the collision not the real video visual collision but just the uh, figure okay the so here we can see the object m1 and m2 m1 moving with initial velocity u1 and m2 as it is at rest initially before collision and after the collision they both move with final velocity v so using the first property that is linear momentum is conserved so we get this equation m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 plus m2 into v that is the final velocity m1 u1 is alone taken cos u2 as already told it is at a stationary it is stationary and the velocity is zero so the equation m1 u1 is equal to m1 plus m2 into v in order to get the final velocity we can rearrange the equation as so we get the equation to get the final velocity that is v is equal to m1 u1 upon m1 plus m2 so if we know m1 m2 and u1 we can easily calculate the final velocity and to calculate loss in kinetic energy in this collision so total kinetic energy before collision that is e1 is equal to half m1 u1 square as u2 was 0 and after collision total kinetic energy e2 is equal to half m1 plus m2 into v square we already know the value of v using this equation putting the value of v here half m1 plus m2 and m1 u1 upon m1 plus m2 ka whole square which further reduces to m1 u1 square and these get cancelled and it gets 2 into m1 plus m2 so the final loss in kinetic energy can be calculated as e1 minus e2 is equal to half m1 u1 square minus m1 u m1 square u1 square upon 2 m1 plus m2 this equation will further and finally get reduced to m1 m2 up into u1 square upon 2 into m1 plus m2 and you can clearly see that this equation for the final formula is positive so which proves that there is always some loss in kinetic energy whether it is less or more but it is always positive some kinetic energy is always lost in an inelastic collision and here this is the derivation and final end of this video and hope you guys like it and please kindly show your support by pressing on the like button and also subscribe thank you bye